Hi, I'm Don with Victrola, and today I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to set up your Victrola Stream turntable. Once you open the box, the first thing you want to do is scan the QR code that's right on the top sheet, or click the link in the description below. Once you've downloaded the app, it will immediately take you into setting up the physical portion of your turntable. Let's get started. Once you've unboxed all the components, it's time to set up your turntable. Make sure that you have all the components listed inside the setup guide within the app. As you swipe through the setup guide within the app, it'll take you through the assembly process. The first step is locating and installing the platter. Just like this. Using the ribbon, you will fit the belt over the motor spindle. Then place the slip mat over the platter. Now we're going to install the tone arm components. We'll begin with the head shell. The head shell is extremely easy to install. Just press it in and then rotate the collar counterclockwise to secure it. Next, you're going to remove the stylus cover from the head shell. It's really easy to do. You simply pull on the tab and pull forward. It comes right off. This part's really cool. We have the easiest counterweight there is to set. There are two marks on the back of the tone arm. If you have the Ortophone cartridge, like on this model, what you're going to do is line it up with the mark on the rear of the tone arm that's closest to you. Slide the counterweight right up to that mark and simply tighten it clockwise until it's secure. So now your tone arm is set with the proper downforce. Next, you'll want to remove the twist tie from the retention clip. So now we're going to set the speed of the turntable. Most commonly, you'll select 33 RPMs. You also have the option to select 45 RPMs, and we include a 45 RPM metal adapter. Now it's time to plug in your turntable. Once the turntable boots up, the illuminated control knob on the front of the unit will begin to flash green, signaling it's ready to connect to your network. So now you're going to return to the app. First, you'll select the plus button on the top of the screen. Then all available devices will be listed. You'll see the Victrola Stream turntable here. You'll simply select it. Then you're going to select your Wi-Fi network, enter in your password, and your Victrola Stream turntable is connected to your network. You'll know that your connection is successful when the illuminated control knob flashes white twice and then turns off. So now we're going to connect your Victrola Stream turntable to your Sonos system. The first thing you're going to do is select the default speaker group by pressing here. My system has living room, kitchen, and patio. I'm going to select living room. Once I've selected that, living room will show up right here within the app. The last thing I have to do is enable autoplay. And I do that by selecting right here. Now we're ready to stream. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to place the record on the spindle. Raise the tone arm lever. And once you place the tone arm over the record, the record will begin to spin. Now you just simply lower it and it'll begin playing on your system. Now that your system is set up, there's no need to use the Victrola app anymore. You can now adjust volume and playback zones directly from the Sonos app. You can even control the volume of your entire Sonos system with the volume knob on the front of the Victrola stream. The Victrola Stream, the world's first Sonos connected turntable. Oh, and one last thing. When you're not using your Victrola Stream, you can protect it from dust and accidental damage with the included dust cover.